and MSC, final thoughts? Not saying I wouldn't cruise MSC again, but I'm not sure I really like the design of this ship and the number of people. I think it would be a different ship if I choose MSC again. Absolutely, we much preferred the seaside yep. as opposed to the seashore. It is our final sea day of this cruise. Yes, it is the seventh day, and we are just north of Havana. Yeah. And it is cloudy and spitting out a little bit, yeah. almost raining, so. Hopefully that goes away so we can get it up on deck. Yeah, you can see the sun in the distance, but it's not so great right now. For sure. So I think we're going to go find some food for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then explore around the ship and see what we can find today. Let's do it. We are playing Journey of the Secret Word once again. In this video, you're looking for one of seven letters for this vlog series. We are excited to announce that Level 8 will be rewarding the winner with a piece of luggage. Good luck, everybody. Off we go. Our least favorite elevators in the world Party. is the morning buffet. It smells better in here than normal. It smells like a bakery. I smell fresh bread, I think. A view down on a drizzly sea day so far from the buffet. Take all you can eat, but eat all you take is the advice of the buffet today. Let's start with the weird section first. Today we have pastry cheese Tacanos. And then we have Texas skillet with eggs, bacon, potato, yellow corn, cheddar, and scallions. And there's some thick ham for you. That is egg bagel, Virginia ham, provolone cheese with a fried egg. Oh, I see. Part of it is a bun. I thought that was all the thickness of the ham. Okay. Now I see what it is. What's Mrs. Connect going for? She is in the... Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Pancakes and French toast. I wonder if she's gonna go for a pop tart down there. No, I'm not going for a pop tart. <laughs> no, go for the pop tart, eh? Oh, I see someone flipping omelets down there too. I know. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, we got some little pre-made omelets, some bacon, some sausage, hash browns, and eggs as well. And the fruit section, always abandoned. And some yogurt next to the fruit. Oh, and some cereal I see too. Oh, I've been digging in already. I did a little bit of ham and Swiss cheese on a croissant, piece of French toast, pancake, and bacon. Pancakes for the first time today. A lone hash brown. This looks interesting. I'm going to try this. It's a plantain sweet potato fritter. And I'm going to try the skillet as well, but I didn't have room on my plate, so I'll do that in a second. Okay, there's a skillet. I'm going to give it a try. It looks like a bit of a science experiment. I'm not sure what I'm getting into. Well, that's hard. Okay, we'll play with it and see. Okay, we are done with breakfast and back in the cabin as you can see, but I'm just getting some technology set up. I think we're going to go out and film a little bit of a ship tour to put together and the sun's starting to come out in the balcony, so there's still hope for this day yet. But anyways, we've got some filming to do and we'll go back to exploring around the ship. Clouds are rain out over the ocean, but right now our balcony is looking good. My hair looks a little messy from doing a ship tour, it looks like, too. Mm -hmm. I want to check in and cover a couple of things that have come up that we thought were a little bit odd, but before you forgot and got off the ship tomorrow, didn't mention it. One is, oh, that paper's stuck under the camera, I can't show you. Anyways, a, a fair amount of paper comes to the cabin every day. I would say at least five to eight pieces of paper every night. Yeah, so over the course of a cruise, that's 50, 60 pieces of paper. But it seems odd that in the dining room, they won't make menus for everybody. We, it's not just our table, by the way. We've mentioned, I've, I've a couple of times said we get like two menus on average for six people to share. Mm -hmm. And I look around the other tables in the dining room, the same thing is happening. Everybody's passing around menus around the whole table that, mm -hmm. and they're just photocopies at this point. They're not like original mm -hmm. fancy, no. they, they are literally photocopies. 
case and they just don't seem to want to give them out to people. And if they're trying to save paper and do it for the economic reasons, well then why are we getting so much paper advertisements to the room? So. Yeah, they can't argue that they're trying to go green when they're giving us so many garbage pieces of paper in the room every single day, advertising constantly everything, trying to get you to buy more. It's It's been non-stop. It really has. Yeah. And the other thing, speaking of advertising, I wanted to talk about is the app. <laughs> I have never seen a cruise app do this. And that is constantly spam you with notifications and messages and advertisements and book this and buy this and there's a sale. It's like nonstop. I don't, I need to find a way to turn the notifications off because it's just distracting all day long. I think you're getting a message from someone else in your group to see what's going on. Yeah, we have the family chat set up on the MSC uh, line, uh app which has been very helpful when you're traveling with you know uh, other people but unfortunately like Jerry said every time we get that ding that I think it might be one of our daughters texting us it's nine times out of ten it's another advertisement for 30% off purses or 25% off perfume or go to the spa or go play this game in the arcade or even more odd today last day of the cruise they're trying to get me to book an excursion at Cozumel that we were at yesterday yeah <laughs> so, yeah and, I, and my phone's been counting up the notifications just let you know how the volume of them 58 so far and here I am on the seventh day, seventh day cruise. So that's over eight spam messages a day coming through from MSC so again that combined with the paper it just feels like like I'm walking Super through an art, yeah. advertising barrage of advertising. Barrage of it. it's <laughs> exactly. really, it's ridiculous. And then you add up the people walking through the, the buffet earlier in the cruise that were trying to sell you on drink specialty packages. Specialty dining. Specialty, yeah. So, All that kind of stuff. Yeah, a constant upsell. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> in feeling, every form. <laughs> definitely feeling it's been like that the whole cruise. And that doesn't even include the main theater shows. I haven't filmed it and showed you, but there's usually an infomercial from the prior to the show starting <laughs> someone comes in and tells you about something yeah, yeah. they'll bring in a certain person in charge of a, a certain department on the cruise ship trying to get you to <laughs> i don't know i'm trying to think of what it was <clears throat> yeah well, spa, spa spa stuff uh, the msc foundation that type of stuff mm -hmm. yep so yeah i kind of feel like i've been on a timeshare for seven days there. yeah <laughs> yeah that's a good way to put it. it it is um it's leaving a bad taste in our mouth to be quite honest with you and we didn't notice it on the seaside at all this is new to us and mm -hmm. i mean it hasn't been that many months since we were on the seaside what has it six months barely six months yeah so it seems to be run differently and i don't know if that's because it's different management staff on this ship or if this is a whole corporate push but um we're seeing a night and day difference for sure mm -hmm. so speaking of bad taste in your mouth let's get rid of that and go for some lunch it is lunch time <laughs> oh off we go for lunch we don't have a lot of options. It's main dining room or buffet. So I suspect it's buffet, but I have not been told officially mm. from the person in charge. Mm. It looks like buffet was the option. Mm. Fruit, nobody at the fruit. Pizza seems popular already though. I think I see candy canes on the dessert. Never seen that before. What are you having for lunch? You had success. I uh, yeah. I got into that pizza line second attempt and was able to get some pizza for okay. us. Okay, that pizza will hold us over till we get some other of these windows open and see what's in the buffet for lunch eventually. Ooh, what'd you get? Look at, couldn't refuse that. Never seen that on a cruise ship before. Ooh. They Too open bad it up wasn't the, caramel. Open up the blinds and you found candy apples. This is interesting looking. This is a hot dog that has like peppers and cheese and chorizo sausage on it. Thought it was worth a try. Healthy broccoli, of course. Got to healthy, some mac and cheese, and some french fries. Hey, Mrs. Canuck is back. What'd you find? I found some tilapia, a rib, some fries, potatoes. This is a uh, pork. Pork. Roast. And pizza. Pizza again. The hot dog with the chorizo sausage on it is delicious. Found something I've never found before. Chocolate covered breadsticks. I'm gonna give that a try. This has got to be weird. <laughs> got to be weird? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like a breadstick with chocolate on it. I think it's going to be bad. Mmm. <laughs> you didn't eat any bread. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Way up there is Mrs. Canuck. She beat me down the stairs from the buffet. Rumor has it, Mrs. Canuck is going to start packing. Close, close out this deal. Good evening. There is no Mrs. Canuck. It is dinner time. 
She just finished packing a while ago and you can see the suitcases right here that are ready to roll out. Uh, MSC wants them out by 10 o'clock tonight so she's ahead of the game so we can enjoy our evening. She's already went down to meet family so I'm going to go find her now and we'll see what she's wearing tonight and then head off to the dining room for dinner for one last night on board the MSC Seashore. So let's get going. I'll go find her. White polo, beige pants. Wait till we find Mrs. Canuck to see what she's wearing. Okay, I found Mrs. Canuck. Hi, just hanging out here having some uh, fun with the family and the grand baby. Play with some letter blocks before dinner. And there's the dress. Blue and white. About, oh, one half length. I can't quite see the legs properly when I'm on the stairs. I think that's close. Oh, maybe only one quarter length. Off we go. Central Park for dinner. It is Italian night. And here's a take a look. Starters, chef suggestions, entrees, and the desserts tonight. Yeah, okay, first appetizer has arrived. I'm having the Aaron Genie balls tonight. And I am having the anti anti pasta plate. Okay, second appetizer arrived almost right away. I haven't even dived into those. And and I had some shrimp cocktail. Hold the cocktail sauce. Okay, my dinner has arrived. I am having salmon with grilled vegetables. And I went with this grilled seafood dinner. So I have some shrimp here, some scallops, looks like some some sort of fish, vegetables, and rice. Yeah. Well, no dessert for me tonight. What are you having? I'm having the lemon cello cake. I love lemon cello. Let's give this a try. Yeah. Okay, we are done with dinner and we're going to pick our way through the ship and end up at the main theater for one last show tonight. So I'm going to meet Mrs. Canuck there. She took a different way with the family and I'm heading that way now. So hopefully we get a good seat. It's been selling out and really busy for the early shows on this ship. Okay, here we are at the theater. It's some sort of rock show. Now I've got to see if I can find Mrs. Canuck or find a seat. Okay, we're at the theater now. We're going to watch Rock Royalty is the name of the show. So we'll We'll film a little bit because there doesn't seem to be a problem doing that. Yeah. Oh, oh we're bright. And then we're back to red. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dinner was quick tonight. One last dinner. So yeah. Italian theme. Yeah. Very so nice. All went well. And uh, yeah, we'll show you a little bit of the show and see what we do after that. MSC Production in Rock We're done with the theater show. We are. Good show, good ending. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But we're rushing to the other end so we can squeeze one last event in before bedtime. Mm -hmm. So we're back to our favorite venue to end the cruise. The Cabaret Rouge. We are. Oh, out of breath. Gotta go.
luggage in the halls. One last walk back to the cabin. Another cruise coming to an end. Look at that. People from Canada. That's it. Seven days MSC Seashore in the books. Mm -hmm. We are back to the cabin one last time. We are. We have the requested that you put your luggage out for 10 p.m., which is a lot nicer than what Princess asked last week. They told us we had to put it out before we went to dinner. So um, 10 p.m. is a little more doable. So okay. most of the stuff is packed. Just have some last minute things to throw out in there and um, get our suitcases out. Yep. So show tonight. Pretty good show. Mm -hmm. The Rock. I might forget the name already. Mm. But it was there. I you saw it. it. And then we went and caught a little music back at the lounge of the cabaret rouge yes and then that was about all so yeah. and that brings to an end this cruise yeah so that is going to be all we're going to film they want us out of our rooms tomorrow at 7 a.m and sitting in lounges waiting to disembark for our luggage so we're going to get out of here and go have some breakfast and then hopefully have a smooth disembarkation. We'll see how that goes. Yes, so hopefully you found the letter today. Today uh -huh. was the seventh letter. So you're trying to create one word with those seven letters. Yes. Look at the information on the screen during the video. That'll tell you where to go and how to submit that. Uh -huh. And MSC, final thoughts? There was, there were some spots that we thought could be better. Yes. There were spots that we really enjoyed. Yes. So it was kind of a mix of things, kind of kind of similar to what we've heard about MSC from other people. There can be kind of hit and miss with MSC, it's not a steady kind of service level. I will say it was there very much a roller coaster. There are certain things that I really enjoyed and certain things that I uh, really didn't enjoy. I'm not saying I wouldn't cruise MSC again, but I'm not sure I really like the design of this ship and the number of people. I think it would be a different ship if I choose MSC again. Absolutely. We much preferred the seaside yep. as opposed to the seashore in that the seaside had an extra buffet and less people on it yes. in the same size as ship. Yep, and even some of the deck configuration was different and made yeah. more space available to people that didn't have yeah. paid premium parts of the ship. Yeah, very, very little seating in certain um, lounge areas that are popular. And so that's become an issue, not only with MSC, but we're finding that on all the larger ships that we're going to. So yeah, we'd probably go back to a smaller ship is what we're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. So it plus, felt very crowded for sure. Pluses, entertainment was good. I think, what was that, the third or fourth production show we saw tonight? Yeah, there was quite a few. Three or four, sure. yeah. Might have been five. No, I don't think five. There was some independent singers that were sprinkled oh, right. in there. Yeah, but as far okay. as whole dance routine singing, so yeah. again, live band. What caught, what caught my attention tonight in Le Cabaret Rouge, I was sitting there listening to the last couple songs of the, the trip, was they're playing a live band back there with the singers. I'm thinking, just move a live band into the main mm -hmm. stage. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little frustrating because I think it would be that much better for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But, and I guess the the low lights, the entertainment was up. The service food options, I guess, was restaurant the, management is the biggest concern. Yeah. Yeah. We we the staff seem to be overall very helpful, working hard. It seems there's like way too many people standing around with officers' uniforms on, with their arms crossed, watching people and not Looking really... Looking stern, and, yeah. but not doing anything. Yeah. And it just, it's kind of frustrating. So, you know, you go in there for breakfast or lunch on a sea day, and they only have a little tiny portion of the restaurant open, and yet there's 200 people waiting in line to get in. It yeah. just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it feels very mismanaged. Yes, yeah. it's the, the, at least the dining portion of what's going on. We had very hardworking staff, waiters, waiters' assistants, all of that sort of thing. But... The logistical side of it all, so all always seemed to be like a little bit of a miss, that they were just a little off. Yeah, for sure. MSC still hasn't quite figured that out in their attempt to get break into the North American market, mm -hmm. is how all that dining thing needs to be managed. So, mm -hmm. Which is a real shame, because I kept thinking over and over again, this is a European-based cruise line, and our experience with European food in Europe was off the charts. Right. Thinking, why well, if they just, like, even make what they make in Europe, it would be phenomenal, but it was, it's, yeah. The North Americanizing of things kind of is a miss. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> for sure. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Overall, every cruise is a good cruise. You're on yes. a cruise ship, beautiful Absolutely. ship. Absolutely. Having a good time and you're on vacation and we're thankful to be able to do it. So mm -hmm. even though some ships are better or worse than others, it doesn't mean it was a bad trip by any means. Right. Plus we had the chance to spend time with family as well. Yeah. So that's what made it for us. But yes, would we book this seaside, mm -hmm. seashore, I mean, again, it, I would probably... Uh, stay away from it. Yeah. 
Yep, unless we hear opinion. remarkable changes to the ship and service, but oh, there's some design things that are tough to overcome. I was just going to yeah. say, they need to add a larger buffet. That's yes. the first thing. I would never think that this buffet <laughs> is large enough for the amount of people on maybe, board. Maybe they could do what we've seen no other cruise line do, actually remove cabins to add services. Because <laughs> I know it's happened the other way at a lot of cruise lines. <laughs> what needs to happen, it really does. The buffet is way too small for the amount of people trying to use it. Yeah, but, oh well, it is what it is. We'll keep cruising. You'll keep trying things too. Mm -hmm. And we'll all keep on traveling the world, which is what's important. Get out there Absolutely. and see all the beauty that there is in this planet. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. If you've watched all seven, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you find that secret letter today and get that secret word as well. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much.